It's been a great couple of days here in this spot. We arrived two nights ago, pretty much dark at night. It was like 10 or 11 p.m. We are actually in Rago National Park. The next day we decided to do a hike and for me it's been the best hike that we have done so far. We went out like around 11 a.m., not too early. The idea was to get to the end where you can see a huge waterfall. I think it's one of the largest ones in the northern of Norway. We decided to go with Aspen again, even though we read it was gonna be very difficult for a dog to actually do it. But, um, you know, he's with us, so you know, if we go, he goes. The beginning of the hike was super steep. Halfway there. Aspen, you need to carry Eugenia's backpack, man. I think we went up like 350 meters or so right in the first couple of kilometers. It was very cold, it was like 7 degrees or so, but at the moment that we started climbing, all the layers felt a little bit too warm. After that, the hike started to be a little bit more horizontal and nicer but we encounter a lot of mud in the ground. It's full of mud, man. There were parts of the hike where we couldn't find the actual path because it was all washed away. Even though they have this red like spray paint mark that give you the direction what you need to follow but they weren't really clear so we got lost a couple of times okay we need to jump come on let's go come on. Uh, but luckily we found our way to the last part of the hike where we found the rocks that the people was advising us not to bring a dog with and um, you know they might have been wiser than us come on man you can do this you want help I fell once. Are you ready? The dog? It's super rocky. It's gonna be complicated to go with Aspen. Well, I'm gonna leave the camera, I think. Or I'm gonna try with the camera. Aspen? Tranquilo. the waterfall can you see it I almost died guys we were walking uh, like alongside the mountain the ground was a little bit wet and I went just thinking that it was going to be a couple of centimeters and I went in like look to my waist look at the woods and I said goodbye to Eugenia and Aspen and I asked her to film me but then I realized that uh, I had the camera with me <laughs> so I wasn't gonna lie for nothing trying to survive but uh, at the same time I wanted to have epic content <sighs> This is gonna be difficult then with the dog no. Have you seen? We need to go all the way up to there Arriba! Man, oh. Let's go man! Come on! You can do Arriba. it! You can do it! Yeah! It was a steep ladder eh? It's steeper than the cabin slope. <sighs> and we made it all the way to the last section. The last one kilometer of the hike was very dangerous because we were walking like very close to the cliff and it was all like wet rock, so it was a slippery. But we went uh, very carefully and we made it to the end of the hike where, you know, we saw the most outstanding waterfall that we have ever seen in our lives and we were alone there was nobody there we were trying to find a lake and as you can see there it is actually there in camera it's a little bit more obvious but uh, in real life it's so still that reflection of the mountain it looked like it was like a mountain going down but no it's actually the water man so that's the lake and the waterfall is gonna be somewhere somewhere there Oh, 
Oh, you're doing. Your life? <laughs> yeah, I know. I have said it many times already. Last video and this video. But this is 100% the most beautiful place I have ever been. It looks beautiful. And look at the waterfall. What? Just the power of the waterfall hitting the rocks beneath. There was a, like a little bridge that you can cross and step on top of the waterfall. So you are pretty much facing the drop of the waterfall. Ah, it was fantastic. After that we started doing lunch, we cook uh, a bit of lunch there because I mean we walked for like four hours, we were very hungry and we already carried all the food in our bags so I always say that if I carry the food I will carry it back in my belly. We're finishing lunch and it's like 4 p.m. and it took us four hours and a half no, to get there to get here it's 4 p.m. plus four hours it's gonna be eight and by eight it's pretty much dark we're afraid of like not having enough light to reach the van but um we're not gonna stop this time to film which the makes a big difference the biggest issue is us on the ladder and then we also have a big ladder, the one that we showed you earlier. It was a steep ladder, eh? That you know we wanted to come, so we will just didn't think about it and just push Aspen up the steps. But now we need to push him down. Now that's gonna be fun. Yes. For now, we're enjoying lunch. <laughs> decided to film even though we said we were not going to but uh, set the tripod here the ladder is there I spent it there <laughs> super scared <laughs> all right let's see what happened man <laughs> Estás conmigo, tío. No hay miedo, no hay miedo. Venga, poquito a poco, poquito a poco. Sí. Eh, hey, ve, cómo no hacía falta llorar tanto. All right, that was stressful, but uh, Aspen survived. Good job, man. I 
to go in the lake like with all my clothes pretty much Eugenia wants to go in the lake I don't know if I'm gonna follow her okay. are we gonna film it? just too tired guys I'm gonna make some fajitas swim fajitas and sleep The next morning we decided to take a swim in this river just to clean ourselves. That is this section here on the left that is super calm and you could actually bath without being worried of being pulled by the river. So we took a plunge in the water and it was so cold that you cannot even imagine it's the coldest one that we have ever tried in this trip. <sighs> I cannot give you a number because I will be lying because I have no clue but uh, I mean this is glacier water I think so you can imagine how, how cold it's gonna be <laughs> and now Eugenia and I were gonna walk towards that direction there is a little village that we want to see it's like around two kilometers from here we're running out of food, so we need to go and buy some groceries. And we are heading south already. We are looking to find a glacier. This is what you tell the camping owner, right? <laughs> come on, they don't let you park anywhere and then you come here and the campings are closed. Are you enjoying the lake? We're getting very wet. As you can see, it started raining really bad. Justin doesn't mind. And the car is still far from us. So we're gonna get soaked, Eugenia. <laughs> we got here yesterday at around 2 p.m. We were actually looking for a place where we could just stop to spend the day because I was very tired of driving. For the past seven days it's been raining and I've been basically just driving. And yesterday the day cleared out and we searched online on Google Maps and we were able to see that there were like a small patch of land here where we could park facing the lake and we couldn't believe it to be honest it's, I don't want to say it again but it's fantastic we opened the doors and we were like next to blue water it was mind blowing and by the time that we came the sun was already setting behind the mountains and we got to see the lake in two colors one in like bright blue and the other one a more desaturated blue like, like right now we just spent the day inside and it was my birthday so uh, I wanted to take it easy and not have been driving all day during my birthday and I wasn't feeling very well to be honest um, so we just spent the day inside the van and Eugenia prepared me a surprise birthday cake <laughs> all right guys today is my birthday <laughs> <laughs> and Eugenia prepared a very fancy Burst the cake, as you can see. This is all very sad. And then a birthday candle, and you can see there is a flying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. This is just got in. 
there is a snow on top of these mountains and then there is a patch of ice there, streams of water coming from everywhere and waterfalls. This is such a beautiful place. This morning we woke up and it was raining a little bit. It wasn't supposed to rain and uh, we already made our mind yesterday night that um, we wanted to go in the lake this morning. So even with the rain we couldn't resist and got into the lake. And it was so cold, like you cannot even imagine it. I mean, the, the windshield of the van was frosted and I was like, Eugenia, are you sure that we want to do this? And Eugenia is always sure. And this is addictive, guys. We need to find a lake, a cold lake near our property in Portugal. Today we have seven hours driving, I think. We're gonna try to make it to Oslo. I really want to visit uh, the Munch Museum. You know, it's like a big project that one of my teachers in architectural school did. And also, uh, I'm very excited because one of you guys, actually two of you guys, a couple, invited us over to their house in Oslo. They say they want to keep Aspen and Lolita while we visit Oslo. I don't know if they actually know what that means, but um, I'll take it. I'm 15 minutes away from Cassie and Lucas house. I am very tired, I've been driving the whole day. So we tested them saying that we are gonna park somewhere and we'll visit Oslo and just, just see them tomorrow at night. But uh, Cassia replied saying <laughs> that she has dinner for Lolita and Aspen ready. <laughs> and that touched my heart, man. So we're gonna drive there. She says that maybe you can stand there and we can take a picture of you. <laughs> you, want, you want to grab the camera? No. <laughs> what about you, Lucas? Do you want to grab the camera? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you want to say hi to? No, no. Thank you. Thank you. The vlog. No, no. no, no. no. impressed in this uh, what was the name of uh, the city again yeah Hari. yes please <laughs> so, uh, march it was march <laughs> to smell it yeah I, I... oyster mushroom yes <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, okay no uh, does that taste like meat What did you say? 
that it will be nice to have a sauna that is heated with the wood, right? Should we build one? For summer in Portugal? Originally, we planned on visiting Oslo by ourselves, but the connection between Cassia, Lucas and us was literally instant. We knew it right away at the first moment that we put a foot inside the beautiful home. So we asked them if they wanted to come explore with us. We got to have lunch in a great local place, which none of us had tried before. And after lunch, they had to go pick up their son from school. And we stayed a bit longer in the city and got a surprise for him. How was Aspen's walk? Very well, thank you. For sure, I use this template. Yeah, they need to connect to each other, that's complicated, man. But yeah, what happened, baby, then you feel... Yeah. <laughs> they put me to work, man. I think mean, that's why they invited me. Then you feel so secure anymore? No, really, it's like only, we only have one chance to do this right. And it's at the entrance of their house. And it's not my house. Man, you're gonna make me nervous, man. <laughs> the, I read in the instructions, yeah. don't overdo it, yeah? Uh -huh. You wanna do the honor or something? No. <laughs> but you need a modern house coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time that someone else is doing this for me, man. <laughs> well, well, besides you, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see, man, after how many <laughs> years? Five years? Five years, even more, I think, yeah. Click. And click. She looks good, eh? Yes. <laughs> and look at this, look at this. We need this in our lives. Look, look at the magnet. Let's give a hack. Thank you, sir. Yesterday we were joking about the sweatshirt. Oh, look at this man, you already had one. Yeah, you you uh, so you don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna miss you very much. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, thanks, gonna miss you guys too. <laughs> After leaving Oslo, the long drive down all the way to Portugal started. Uh, it was around 3,500 kilometers in total. The long days waking up at 6 a.m. and driving the whole day. But before that, we stopped for a day in Copenhagen. How many hours did you pay for the car? How many hours we did paid, you pay? We paid for two hours of parking. 
and um, it's been like eight hours. That's pretty good. guys we arrived last night after the whole night driving from France we crossed Spain and then got up to here in Portugal at night and we were really not expecting this Pepe for the near future here I want to take a moment before showing you guys how we found our property when we arrived to ask you do you have a website if you have a business or if you are a creative person and don't have a website yet is it's, I mean it's mind-blowing you guys need to have a website and Squarespace makes it a simple task to do one. We started with Squarespace eight years ago. I know it sounds like I'm just making things up to make this like more personal, but it's not. When we started our handbag company back in Los Angeles, the first website that we did was with Squarespace. And a couple of years ago, when we decided to put our cabin layout kit for sale, we needed a website. So we just went ahead and did it with them. And it's just so easy to create a beautiful website. I mean, you just need to see Modern House Cabin website or a Unias website. They're both done in a Squarespace. And you know, it's a great way to show what you are able to do to the world. And they offer many features for any, pretty much anybody, like portfolios if you are a photographer. They also have blogging tools if you are into posting your content or showing what you do in, in blog posts. If you have a physical product or a digital product like us, that you want to sell and they also have domains if you're planning to build your website you can just try it for free they have a free trial so you don't have to take my word for it you can try it by yourself once you're ready to launch your website go to squarespace slash modern house cabin to get a 10 percent off in your first purchase of a website or domain and with this code you not only get 10 percent off but um, you are also helping us to keep creating these videos look at this man you cannot even see the cabin or the workshop. Everything has grown so much. Like, look at the olive tree. It has loofahs hanging. <laughs> oh my god. Look. Look at this. It's full of food. We have tomatoes, pumpkin, corn, peppers. There's a concrete path there also. Mm, so good. The cabin is still there. The workshop is still there. Everything is working pretty well. But we were really not expecting this to be honest. This is a jungle. We're gonna need to do so much work here. Rita has been doing her job tonight um, but that's the only mouse that we found so that's good Aspen is finally reunited with his chicken Aspen man, you miss him? and uh, before I forget I received a package that is very important and it's all thanks to you, let me show you vacuum is here it's the one that we bought uh, thanks to all the donations that you guys sent us and again thank you so much to all of you that donated um, to get this tool for us I have been using it for a couple of days um, to create the content that I'm, we're gonna be showing next and you know it's been great you can see that the workshop is clean and didn't have to use pretty much my mask and you know it's been it's been a great improvement in our life I don't know, I don't really know how to put this, but I'm extremely grateful to have you all uh, behind this camera, supporting everything that we do, especially now that we're gonna start building the house because it's a major project. You know, it's not the same to do it alone than to do it with 130,000 people behind you. We didn't ask for a loan and 
we are just self-building everything that we do um, by ourselves and you know things like this really help uh, i actually wanted to say thank you to everybody that donated in person this is not festo it's modern house cabin 2 powered by you and by the way before we leave this is the living proof that um anything is possible with hard work it's the second that we get it's modern house cabin no Eugenia Diaz channel and um you know this is all thanks to you guys we're extremely grateful to have you guys following us no matter what type of videos we do even we go in a van or if we are actually building a house which we're gonna start very soon it's a pleasure making videos for you guys i'll see you in the next one I think we're not gonna catch anything. I thought, I thought for sure I had something, man. But uh, you know, if you're vegan, <laughs> she might be a good fish, man. Oh, but I, I was sure I felt it, man. I can did feel it. Like the push. Can I continue cooking? Yes, please.